This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you slap a like on this for me. Well, obviously today was a slow news day and a small little story got legs. A, a story that's not even really that believable. And from a credible radio station, I can't believe that they went to this level because it really doesn't even seem right. I mean, it even sounded like a joke when he was telling the story. And then Drake was talking about, we talked about Joe Budden. After he was like, you know, I gave him a little a little look. That's why uh, Joe ain't put out the DMs. The reason he ain't put them out is because I DM'd him and said, I hope you get well in this tough time. AKA, you out here strung out on dope or something. I heard the rumor was that Eminem was gonna gear up to come after him. And he laughed, he was like, that's not gonna happen. He was like, he'd never do that. And if it did, I got something for him too. Did you tell him you were gonna repeat this little video? No. So if you don't know Ebro in the morning, Ebro went to OVO Fest, right? And he claims he had a conversation with Drake. A personal conversation. Cause our, uh, Paul Roseberg said, was this a personal conversation? He said, yeah. And he said, did you know, does he know that you're going to repeat this on the air? He said, nah. But, you know, obviously, if Drake had a conversation with Ebro, a media guy, he would know that it's basically not going to be a secret. It's public. So, basically, uh, he said that Drake, you know, was talking Joe Budden, and he was laughing it off, and he was like, you know, you know why he won't release those DMs? It's because... I was wishing him well in his time of hardship, you know, alluding to the fact that, you know, he strung out on dope. Because we all know, you know, Joe Budden's pretty open that he was a drug addict. So, basically, he's saying that when he, you know, he's alluding to that when he, the what the uh, tweets or DMs that he read off on Charlemagne's show on MTV, basically were fake, you know, about like, you know, betting Joe Budden that he can't release this many, you know, diss tracks and that he's invited to come out on the show in New York, you know, that he's alluding that, that that's not true. Then he goes, Ebro goes into, well, you know, there's rumors that, you know, uh, Eminem might jump in the beef with Joe Budden because we know Joe Budden is signed to Eminem, but Joe Budden even openly talks that he hasn't talked to Eminem in a long time. So... <laughs> Why would Eminem jump into a beef that doesn't involve him when he's friends with Drake? So, you know, he said that, and then he, sa he said Drake responded, oh, he wouldn't do that, you know, alluding that they're friends, but if he does, I got bars for him too. Now, come on. First of all, Drake has the utmost respect for Eminem. He always tweets that out. And um, even Eminem's camp tweeted something out like, must be a slow news day. So basically, this is Ebro probably making this up or trying to bait this beef even further, like trying to bait Eminem to maybe say something about Drake. Is Eminem probably going to fall for that? Probably not, because he would wait for Drake probably to make the first move, because they they have history together. You know, Eminem usually disses people he doesn't have history with. So that would be like him dissing. 50 or something or somebody he's friends with you know Royce if I, I don't know you know it's like it wouldn't make sense you know Joe Budden is just lyrically going back Joe Budden's really just going back and forth with Drake because he believes that Drake kind of came at him you know because he he was open on his podcast about the views and then he believes Drake took some shots at him on 4 p.m to Calabasas and came back well first it was that that you know that Instagram thing uh, a snippet of no shopping where he believes that Drake kind of took a shot at him there. And then also the 4 p.m. to Calabasas. And, you know, he went in, you know. He got, why wouldn't Joe Budden go in? He likes, he, he wants to, he wants to lyrically spar with Drake. And it's good publicity, you know. Why wouldn't you do that? But I think Ebro's reaching a little bit here. And I'm kind of shocked because they, they usually have pretty credible info coming out of, you know, especially Ebro. I mean, Funkmaster Flex kind of messed up a few times with the Meek Mill thing last year with Drake, but, you know, eh, I don't believe it, but we will find out probably tomorrow. I'm sure we will get some answers from somewhere.